Hello guys, today we're, I was I told you that we were going to make some doors, but actually we we're going to make switches that will later on open the doors. Now let me first correct some bugs that we had on the last program. Actually, it's only one bug, which is when we push this this block and we are in the air, the player gets stuck and it doesn't do anything. So to correct that, the only thing we have to do is to add it to add to the player a uh, physics to the material. So create a new one by right clicking, create physics to the material, and you've got it right here. And now we have to do is to set its friction to zero and apply it to our player. Now I don't really know how to explain you how this friction works, but what I do know if it's one one of the uh, friction parameters of one of the colliding game objects is zero then it will slide off as I'm going to show you right now as you can see it slides and only then pushes okay so now we're going to add our switches again I've already made it switch you can also have it by going to the description below and we're going to make the same process that we, all, that we made for all the other sprites set that to 20, this to multiple point, true color, apply, sprite editor slice, and I made them 5 by 8 so 5 by 8 Slice, apply, and now we've got our switches over here. Drag them into the sprites folder. Let me close this up and increase this size. Okay, so we've got here our free sprites to create a game object, and just drag the free sprites into our scene. Now, this will ask us to. Name our animation and the animation will be switch switch up and now we have our game object over here created with the the animator controller and our animation created for us. By the way, in the animation make it not loop so that when we start the scene the animation just the switch just goes up and now we're going to create another animation if you don't have this animation window opened and this selected just do it click on the bar create new clip switch down and do the exact same thing but instead of Putting him, dragging him like this, no, drag him one by one so that they have the reverse order. A second, there you go. Okay, so with this done, we're going on to onto our animator controller. This is in the player animation. Click on this switch animation animator that we have here. Click two times. We have our two animations that we created. And just like we made with our player, let's make some transitions. Actually, only two, two transitions will be needed. And if you remember, you we used the int the last time. This time we'll, go, we'll use a bool called go down will be set to false by default and click on the transition to go down and set that to true now click on the transition to go, to go back up set that to false click on go down and set to false with that done before we go to the codes 
you first want to click on the switch down animation and also on a disable loop time now let's get to the code add component new script switch so the switch script and you'll add this to the switch game object switch script wait script there you go now now if you remember just like we did with the player we are going to have to use to make a, <coughs> make a reference to our component animator of the switch so get component animator two parentheses semicolon and save it now what we're going to do is to use two functions which are on trigger stay and on triggers exit you can you could also use on trigger enter instead of on trigger stay but that would sometimes cause a bug if something goes on to the trigger then our anim.setBool we're going to make our, our the bool that we just created go, the go down bool and we're going to set it if something goes to the if something triggers this it will go through yep but copy this if something exits the trigger on trigger exit to the then it will go false okay save the script go on to unity something is wrong because this is unchecked check it if it's not checked and save unity we have our switch over here just grab it closer to the ground and of course you're going to have to create a physics due to the component box collider and set it to trigger when you hit play you can see that our trigger is up but when we go through go into it it goes down and when you exit it it goes up again now what if we wanted it to to stay down well to do that go back to your switch script script and create a public bool that will we will change in inspector if you want public bool called sticks this bool if this is true then when when we when something exits the trigger nothing happens and to make it to make that work all you have to do is if on the on trigger exit function just write on uh, if sticks if sticks so if sticks is true return and basically what this does is if this is true then this function will never happen this it will jump out of this function and will forget about it now let's see if this is working go on to unity now first off our sticks variable is not checked so it should work as it was before and it does now if we check our variable our sticks variable when we go there and then exit it you can see that the switch is still down okay now that's it for today all we're going to do is just name these things with another name switch and create prefabs for it tile is it tile its name 
Yep, it's a tile. And in the prefabs folder, we already have our gem and our Indian. Drag the switch over there too, and the tile. Actually, name it instead of tile, just push block. Push block. Okay. And that's it for today, guys. In the next tutorial, I'll be starting to program the doors.